Welcome back. In the previous video, we took a look at how to select samples and variables in IPUMS USA. And now we are ready to submit our extract and get our data. So you would want to click on View Cart on your screen. And this is going to take you to a summary of the variables you have and the samples you've selected. And if you're happy with this, you want to click Create Data Extract. And don't worry about it if you realize later you need to add more variables. It's really easy to revise your extract and get a new one. So now we're in the extract request page, and this is where you will see a summary of the samples and variables you have here. Um, and there is also a few options that you want to set before you click OK. So the first thing to take a look at is the data format. Right now this is set to Stata. You want to make sure it's set to Stata. If it's not, you want to click the Change button, and you want to double check that Stata.DTA is selected here. This is really important because otherwise you get the data in raw format, and there are a lot more steps to open it up into Stata. So after you've double checked that the data format is set to Stata here, you can ignore the rectangular structure. Um, it's good to take a look at the size. Mine is a reasonable size. If yours says something like 8 gigabytes, that means that you should probably go back and either reduce the number of samples or reduce the number of variables in your extract because your data set is just going to be too unwieldy to actually analyze in data. So another useful option to know about is attached characteristics. So this allows us to create a new variable from something like the mother or father's education of an individual. So this is good for learning more about families and their attributes. So for example, if I want to know about an individual's uh, parent's marital status, I'm going to put a check next to the marital status variable. Um, similarly, you could do this with any of your variables here. And then I click Submit, and later I'm going to end up with a variable called M-A-R-S-T pop and mom that tells me about the parent's marital status. So click Submit there, and you can ignore the Customize Sample Size Select Cases and Set Elect Data Quality Flags options. Those are advanced options, and I don't think you're going to need them for your project. But if you are curious about what they do, check out the IPUMS uh, data documentation. So the last thing you need to do is fill in a description of your data set. I'm going to simply say 2010 ACS, uh, basic demographic variables. And it's a good idea to at least put in a basic description so that later if you come back and revise your extract, you'll know which one is which. So now that we have ch double checked all of our options and typed in a description, we can click Submit Extract. And this is going to take us to the login page. And if you already have an account, you can just sign in. Otherwise, you request an account by filling in your email address, and then you fill in uh, a brief form on the next page. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And on the next page, you'll see your download and revise extracts pages. And this gives you a summary of past data extracts. Uh, so you'll notice I submitted an earlier one today, and it's already ready under formatted data. The one I just submitted, uh, the command files are ready to go, but the actual data set is not ready yet. And whenever it's ready to be downloaded, I will receive an email from IPUMS telling me that it's ready. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to download the data and then open it in Stata.